game to me. Yeah, ain't got time to be. It's Madden NFL 23. Coming up, we'll see Dak Prescott as he's gone over 4,000 yards passing now for the year. It's the Cowboys and the Eagles next on Madden Football. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star Stadium, a very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Today, rivals square off in the NFC East, and we've got a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. Joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. They've been cooking these last couple months. Winners of seven of their last eight games. And if you extrapolate that out to a full season, they'd be 14-2. and two. And anyone in the NFL today would sign up for that. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, they've been as hot as anyone. The win last week makes it 9 out of 10. The results are hard to argue. If there's a team better suited for the postseason right now, I don't know who they are. Outside the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. Dak Prescott and Dallas taking the field for their first possession. Dak now in his seventh season in charge of the Cowboys. Two time Pro Bowler. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well, won the ball game. Bottom line, may not have been earth shattering, but it didn't need to be. They'll start the drive with Elliott to about the 33-yard line. The numbers for Zeke from last week, 21 carries, 72 yards. They're coming off the back-to-back -back wins, and I think a lot of credit belongs to this guy right here because, to me, he's not only carried his weight, he's carried a few other guys along as well. He's helped draw defensive attention away from not just him. He rifles one, it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. Remember, Charles, this is the number one defense in the NFL, and they lose their medal here, forcing the turnover on the opening possession. And sometimes when you play a team that has that reputation, it's earned it by their play, the psychology is, okay, they're number one, they have to prove it to us, and they try to attack. They found out that that ranking was real. And if history is any indication, when this defense gets off to a good start, we'll look out. Yeah, their offense plays off of them awfully well, too. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So the interception there, and Charles, I'd imagine that's something you can maybe live with in December, but not come January. And I love how you make the distinction there. You talked about regular season versus the postseason, the playoffs. Because these guys, they've already clinched a playoff spot, but they know, looking ahead, when they get into the postseason, they've got to take better care of the football because turnovers in that situation, they really become magnified. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw here pulled in by Beasley. And he'll get this 
pass up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Well, this defense for the Eagles, they put together a strong effort last week in the win over Chicago. And the big difference in the ball game, they're going to force turnovers, three of them in fact. Being able to take the ball away, give it back to their offense, that's something that's emphasized each and every week, and they carried it out. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Looking to throw. Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. And that's how you shake off the interception you throw on the opening drive. Come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Scott looks to throw on first. Oh, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. So, Charles, our first points of the game provided defensively. What a play that was. And I can only imagine that the folks at home watching are thinking to themselves, that's one of those plays where once the ball leaves the quarterback's hands, you just sort of go, uh-oh, and wait for the result. This time, the defense benefited. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7-zip. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. following that pick six, and now the kick is away. He's had a great season, plenty of touchdown passes, but that last throw, not one of his finer moments as it was returned for a touchdown on the pick six. Now he starts again here, first and 10. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. There's Prescott. And this one caught by Beasley. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, it's Prescott. That one thrown away from the pocket. And the officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. It's taken to the 26. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but an end of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. 
First down carry by Sanders. Well defensed as they're holding to just a couple. Second down coming up. The numbers for Sanders last week. He was creeping up toward 200 yards. Thought he was going to get there. Didn't quite make it, but also two rushing touchdowns. And even if he only got about half those numbers this week, his team would take it in a heartbeat, wouldn't they? Because last week, he was spectacular. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Another run with Sanders. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. So that'll bring up second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Hurts sets up to throw it. Complete. Smith has it. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. The Eagles at 13-1 and one now on the year. And they've been playing their best football of the year. Winners are four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Back in the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They go back to the ground with Sanders. Five yards, now it's third and five. Christmas Eve here in 2022. A big slate today of Saturday games. But we will have, ready for this, a triple header of action on Christmas Day tomorrow. Hurts fumbles it. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. I remember pregame when we were talking to him on the field, and he took his gloves off and showed us his fingers. A few misshapen ones in there, <laughs> and now we know why, trying to catch those types of bullets. That was a dart. Yeah, even for a talented receiver, those are tough to hang on to. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 of the 9-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And from the 9, they get this to the 5-yard line. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun, it's Hurts. And they're going to get it. They bring it back to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So a touchdown on their opening drive and three more here. And it adds to their first quarter lead. Yeah, everything's going according to plan so far because the offense has moved the ball. Defense able to do their job. And here the special teams unit comes through with their contribution. A field goal to make it 10-zip. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. They look to get something started. They need to down 10 0 early as they've got it first and 10. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. He'll find Lamb crossing the formation for the catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Prescott now from the 50. Throw left side complete. That's Elliott. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 18 more yards there and another first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now here's 
There's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. These two teams matching up for the second time this year. Their first meeting back in October, week six. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. And they got to get to the 23 here on third. third to the air again, Prescott. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Austin Seibert sets up for the field goal try. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. Seibert's kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10-3. to to the three points there and see that helps an inch a bit closer. Yeah, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. This will be fielded inside the five. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 10-3 our score after one here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And down he goes just beyond the 35. And a pretty move got him some extra space to run. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. Man open, it's J.J. Arthega whiteside And they're going to get this up to midfield. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Here's second and a yard. They'll go again with Sanders. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. The offense on third down. Just run for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And Pascal's got it. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. And Sanders over the first down carry that might have gotten a yard if that second down. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Throwing his hurts. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. That's about what you would expect since they're so efficient on picking up third downs in the top five in the NFL. It's all a mindset, and I'll guarantee you, it started in the offseason. Third down's important to them. They find a way to pick them up with a very good clip. Here's Hurts to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Sanders. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think and that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A.J. Brown, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Eagles go up by two touchdowns. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, 
bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is now 17-3. So that drive, 12 plays in length, and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that. <laughs> they were happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Elliott toss right. And he is going to lose yardage here. Just a one yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. A loss of one brings up third down and 16. Here's Prescott. Steps away. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. That's pulled in at the 32. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own 33. So uh, really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered. They had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. This offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. On is the punter, Brian Anger, to kick this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is fielded at the 27. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Play action. Here's Hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. 
And he'll be taken down after a pickup of about seven as the clock will stop here for the two-minute warning. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Throwing for Smith on the out route, and it's caught. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 32-yard line. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. Touchdown! Miles Sanders from 17 yards out. And the Eagles take a three-touchdown lead. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. Now Prescott. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. On second and ten, Prescott, they'll set up the screen to Elliott. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Throwing, Prescott. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far, offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. Yeah, that's a 48-yard punt with a coverage holding him to three on the return. And they will take over first and ten. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. But first down, Hurts. Open man, Arthega Whiteside. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Now second and seven from the 23. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. And the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. Hurts. And it's knocked away and incomplete. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Hurts sets up to throw it. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. They'll throw now on the final play. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. So we've reached halftime here. Let's throw in a broadcaster cliche, shall we? Both teams looking for a gift on Christmas Eve. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. 
Some great games coming up on Sunday, highlighted by a 1 o'clock matchup in Miami. A good test for the Dolphins as they'll take on the always tough Green Bay Packers. Next, we head off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Then, on Sunday night, wrap up your Christmas day with a great one. All right, we bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. Fields it right around the goal line. Oh, a good return up past the 30. The Eagles offense making their way back out as we take a look at the playoff picture of the NFC. And for them, it's no longer a question of will they make the playoffs. They've clinched the division title. The question, can they hold on to that number one seed? And this is where the mental fortitude comes to play, doesn't it? Because now you're not just the coach talking about it. It's team talking about it to each other, supporting each other, carrying each other along, because having that number one seed means everything in the NFL. It does. So even though the division title's clinched, shouldn't take the foot off the gap. No, not at all. Play it all the way through. And I think we've seen that in recent years in the NFL. The teams that play and play to win each and every game, they're the ones to deal with in the playoffs. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. One yard gain. Another run here with Sanders. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. And in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Got his man. It's our Sega White side. And they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. That's complete to Arthega Whiteside. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now a carry for Sanders. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. They go play action with Hurts. And that is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on up. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. A first down throw for Prescott. He hits Beasley right side. Even with that broken tackle, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Four yards on the pickup. Second down six. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott able to hit his target lamb. 
And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A first down carry by Elliott. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Prescott now. Left side to Lamb. On the move past the 40. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb, 64 yards. And the Cowboys are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. But it's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure. But that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion where you have more than one play ready. Because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Eagles offense back out getting set for this next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Holding offense. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. That penalty is in the of the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? No. No, not at all. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Hurts finding Goddard there. First down, Philadelphia. Here's Sanders. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 88 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. For a lot of people, MVP award means a quarterback award usually, but over 100 yards again last week. Uh, they're going to have to look his way more than once when giving out this award this season, I think. Yeah, it's not just the consistency. It's been some plays that we've seen where we talk about it for weeks thereafter. That's what we're getting out of him over 100 yards last week. Expects to continue that in this game, too. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll run with Sanders. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. On first and ten, it's Hurts. It's caught by Sanders. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. You're able to keep the quarterback. Hurts is intercepted, his third of the game. Picked off by Anthony Brown. 20, 10, and he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Boy, a big play right there. I mean, a touchdown on this drive could have really put some separation on the scoreboard. Instead, it's the defense who scores. And, partner, we got a game again. And we do have one because of what you just described. The defense had understood what was going on in this game and did something about it. They knew their offense needed some help. They just provided it. They're back in this one. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And he is in for the two points. And they're back with it as score as the lead's cut to eight. And that almost makes it a brand new ball game. Now it's a one score affair. And they get the two. And you have to know they were holding their breath on the two point play because they had to have it to 
get it within the range that you just talked about. Dialed up their two-point play. It worked. Now they're feeling like they've got a shot at this one. And this return with net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 27. He'll start with a handoff to Sanders. Brought down by Devin Harper. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Throwing his Hurts. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. It'll go as a gain of four. And now we've got a third down and three. I know sometimes we can get four when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred the defense. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs it over He's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Prescott. On the throw, running too much that time. It's incomplete. Third quarter action, and we appreciate you spending your Christmas Eve right here with us. Second and ten. Meanwhile, Dax throw pulled in by Lamb. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll try and run for it with Ellie. They find some open field here. Yeah, he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. That run's successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it, and that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. Prescott off play action. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. So that time, Charles, a quarterback helpless, really, in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. <laughs> to try again after the sack. Prescott, he's going to find Gallup here complete. And he's brought down just shy of the 40. The Cowboys on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and nine. Here's Prescott. Flushed out right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. Spotted at the 14-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Here's Hurts to throw. Complete. Smith has it. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Hurts fumbles it, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Back to throw. He's going deep for Brown. 
And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Quick slant here to Smith. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. From the gun, it's Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 27-yard line. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. Always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. But first down, Hurts. The man has got it, the tight end. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. 113 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Sanders again, and he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. And just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive, and it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. The Cowboys are not set to take over on offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. From the 27, Prescott. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Darius Slay with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, that's what you get, apparently, when you try to take on a Pro Bowl cornerback. And what a play there to make the interception and also bring it back for six. And he is so good that we've seen teams absolutely stay away from throwing the ball at him. Here, he's just reading the quarterback's eyes the entire way, makes a great play on the football, and turns it into six. Oh, I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is, his first miss, no good. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 
Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. From a star in college to a star in the NFL, C.D. Lamb at wide receiver as he brings out this offense. And I know that they've double-teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. You give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. You could not write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Now here's a throw that's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. You got the big lead defensively. You're willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. From the 41, Prescott. Another one to CeeDee Lamb. He's got it. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 42. A nice pickup of 17 yards. Those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more than the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where his coaches. You're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Prescott. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. The Cowboys on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and seven. To throw is Prescott. And Beasley with it over the middle. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. They'll run it with Elliott. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Now Prescott. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have a look at it, third and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. And he is going to be taken down. They got him. As that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Anthony Harris. And the Eagles are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And it's looking all the more likely that a fifth straight win is going to be in the cards. They'll try to run some time here with a first and ten. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Another run with Sanders. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday. For and the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. 
And they turn it over. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Dancing to his left. This is caught. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Now they got to get to the line quickly. And Beasley's got it. Touchdown, Cowboys. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Cowboys have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point by Cyber, up and good. And the will be cut down at 14. So two scores down, time definitely not alive. And here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand seam. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Second down and six now from the 42. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Well, I'm guessing that on the sidelines there might be a few words said about that mistake there, but I don't think it's going to hurt them in the long run. They're still going to get out of here with a win. Yeah, they got the, the two-score cushion, but you know what coaches say, Charles? Finish strong. Finish the game out the way it's supposed to be played. In fact, coaches might be secretly happy because of a chance to do a little extra coaching next week. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Dak. A hit as he throws there. Incomplete. Some back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To throw, Prescott. And this is caught on the sideline. Are the feet in? They are. What a catch. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I and mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other at practice, obviously your training camp, your off season. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw for both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for Philadelphia, it's another win for them. And you wonder if they want to redo on that one loss as they sit now at 14.